yeah, Tendermint was kind of the first proof of stake algorithm. Um, you know, the work that Jay did and the, Bucky and the sort of early Cosmos crew uh, was critical to a lot of the early decisions and discussions around proof of stake in the Ethereum community as well. Um, so, you know, we we here in Cosmos have long been kind of proof of stake pioneers and we've been the first people to productionize that work and, and sort of like bring it to the masses. Um, I think distributed consensus is one of the most interesting applications of computing that's ever been developed because what it really does is allow people to maintain databases collectively and to share ownership of those databases in a way that's irrevocable once it's uh, once it's created. And that is kind of fundamentally different from all of their previous database technologies in which there was one person or entity with a key. And no matter how much uh, legal engineering you do, there is just always this practical issue that somebody can come in and change the records. Um, and with blockchain, that, that kind of solves that issue. And, and proof of stake is the way we kind of scale this to the masses. Yeah, the whole idea of a shared uh, database or shared infrastructure between a large group of people is very interesting. And then you have to look at the difference of where proof of work and proof of stake, it's even a different level of ownership over that network, in my opinion. Um, I mean, you can see this with the whole history of Cosmos with the various governance proposals where you can do some more exotic things, you could say, or change some different variables, but do it as a team and not in like a backroom decision that a group of developers do and just push to the community, um, which I think I is mean, very interesting. Yeah, I mean, like in a Postgres database or in a SQL database, like they run at, uh, you know, Facebook and Twitter and, you know, those are all just like really big centralized databases. At the end of the day, it's like one person who has the key. And like, you know, anyone with access to the systems can go in there and um, mess with them. And, and that's just a very different trust model than uh, this entire community of hundreds of validators has the key. Yeah, for sure. It's a whole new ballgame. I loved your point around this, around distributed consensus being one of the most interesting compute, like areas of computer science in history, really such a whole new way of looking at uh, computer systems and groups of people and economic organizations.